Still on moderation modeling, this video takes on moderation modeling using time series data. My name is Ngozi Adeleye, founder Crunch Econometrics and facilitator, practical econometrics for researchers, beginners, and advanced level users called PEBA. The learning outcomes are shown on the screen. We will take a look at the study objectives and hypothesis, the scope of the data and study variables, how you need to prepare your data before estimation. I will show you how the model should be specified and we will go through the estimation of the models. At the end of this video, I have indicated references that you will find helpful. As mentioned in the previous videos, these are detailed hands-on application using Stata and eViews uploaded to my Teachable Paid platform. I want to encourage you to enroll with a one-off fee of $200 so that you can take advantage of this easy to understand um, econometric techniques so that you can upgrade your analytical skills. I have indicated some study objective and hypothesis and um, basically we want to explore the significance of finance in the agro-industrialization nexus or understand whether agriculture and financial sectors are complements or substitutes in the industrialization process. Or we want to evaluate how changes in the financial system affects the agro-industrial relationship. And um, given the objectives, I decided to coin the hypothesis to be tested as follows. An increase in agro output on industrial output is conditioned on financial access. In other words, financial access is very key to the agro-industrial nexus. The scope of the study is on Nigeria from 1981 to 2015. The dependent variable is manufacturing value added. The independent variable is agricultural value added. The moderating variable is finance to the agricultural sector. And in this uh, analysis, I am not using any control variables. In actual fact, this video tutorial is extracted from my publication as you can see on the screen. And if you are interested in this article, you can find it downloadable on my Crunch Econometrics website. It is also on my ResearchGate profile. To prepare the data for eViews, we begin from the data source, which in this case is World Bank World Development Indicators. The data is downloaded in Excel format and imported into eViews. If you don't know how to import your Excel file into eViews, I have a video on that on my YouTube channel. I will encourage you to please watch the video. Once we have imported the file into eViews, we will proceed to interact the necessary variables and take the log transformation. But taking the log is not, um, will I use the word compulsory if that is not the way you want to go? But for me, I prefer to take the log transformation of uh, some of my variables. On the screen is the model specification that addresses the study objectives and hypothesis. Equation 1 states that manufacturing is a function of agriculture, financial access, and the interaction of financial access and agriculture. For you to correctly specify a time series equation, you must indicate the subscript T. Very, very important. Now, from equation one, we can see that MFG is the outcome variable, that is the dependent variable. Agriculture is the first explanatory variable. Financial access is the second explanatory variable. And the multiplication of agri and finance produces the interaction variable. I put a note here that the variables are transformed into their natural logs for me to control for heteroscedasticity, outliers, and to establish um, elasticity relationships. 
but you may decide to engage the analysis using the raw forms if that is the way you want to go. So now we move over to eViews to estimate the model. The data range is from 1981 to 2015 and there are 35 observations. So for you to estimate the model, you go to Quick. But before I do that, I want to show you how you can generate both the log forms and the interaction variable. To do that, I click on Generate. And if I want to generate, for instance, the log of financial access, which is here already, I can simply do LNFIN2. Let me put two here just to indicate this is a different variable. So LNFIN2 will give me log. I will open the bracket and type in fin. Once I do that, I click on OK. So you can see here, this is the log form of financial access. To generate interaction term is very simple. Click on generate and type in the interaction variable. That is the new variable you are generating. In this case, I can call it lnag underscore lnfin. If that is a new variable name I want to give it equals, then it will be lnagcol, which is what is here already. You can see I have it here, multiplied by lnfin. So this is the correct way to generate interaction. I click OK. All right. So to estimate the model, you go to Quick, click on Estimate Equation. I'm engaging um, an OLS uh, regression. Even though in the paper I mentioned, I use ARDL and error correction technique. But to simplify your understanding, I am just going to do an OLS regression. So all you have to do is to list uh, the variables starting with the dependent variable. In this case, ln, m, f, c, o, l. Remember to put your constants followed by the first explanatory variable, which is ln, a, g, c, o, l. Next, I type in the log of finance. Then finally, I type in the interaction variable, which I generated before, which is log of ln fin. Everything is correctly done. I can also control for heteroscedasticity. I click on options. From the covariance method, I select Huber White to control for heteroscedasticity. Everything looks okay, and I click OK. So, this is the result from EVIUS. The coefficient of interest is the coefficient of the interaction term, and I can see it is positive and significant at the 1% level. I am not going to do any interpretation in this video. I have shifted it to the next video because I want to give detailed interpretation. But we can see here that the interaction coefficient is positive and significant at the 1% level. I have put all this on PowerPoint. So this is what I just showed you. This is the correct way to create interaction term in AViews. And this is the wrong way to do it. If you do it this way, it will create a multicollinearity problem or what we call a perfect singular matrix in EViews. And you will be unable to estimate the model. So make sure that you always generate all your interaction terms. If you are using the log form of those variables, make sure you generate them this way. And this is uh, the model that we just estimated. You can see that I followed exactly the way the model is specified, you know, econometrically. So that is how you are going to indicate it also within the eViews interface. So these are the references that you will find very helpful for moderation modeling. The article I spoke about is the one I have highlighted as number four. The paper is available on Crunch Econometrics website and also on my ResearchGate profile. Other papers here are on panel data variants of moderation modeling. You will also find them interesting and easy to understand. Make sure you focus on the introduction, the section 3, and the section 4 of these papers. You will find them very helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I have just concluded moderation modeling in time series part 1. I love to hear from you. I am interested in your feedback kindly leave them in the comment section below and please remember to refer your friends colleagues and institutions to enroll into the crunch econometrics p2
Paper Series.